YouTube is starting to slowly destroy Dead by Daylight content on the platform. A lot of DVD content creators, myself included, have been affected by this and the outlook on the future is very concerning. For those who don't know, YouTube has recently and secretly added new community guidelines around monetization, specifically when it comes to what videos are ad friendly and what videos need to be age restricted. When a video becomes age restricted, it is effectively dead. It will not be advertised, it won't be put into the algorithm, and of course, it won't make any money. So put simply, if DBD has become too violent or graphic to be monetized on YouTube, then DBD content will largely cease to exist. And don't get me wrong, content creators love making content outside of a purely financial mindset, they really do, but even if creators continue to make content for free because of their love for the content itself, the content will still be shadow banned, which essentially makes it pointless to make because nobody will ever see it. More on that point, new videos on a channel bring in fresh viewers. People who have never seen your channel before now have a massive backlog of content they can watch if they enjoy your channel. Likewise, if there's a specific popular video on your channel that is maybe older but still gets more views than even your brand new videos, if that video gets demonetized as well, you are essentially gone as a content creator. The only people seeing your videos at that point are already subscribed to you. Because of this, a content creator's channel will start to stagnate completely, wither away, and eventually die. Also, the bigger DVD channels that are privileged enough to put a real budget into their videos with scripts, editors, commissions, special software sometimes, and so on will be 100% gone. So the high budget, really cool stuff will just wash away. In short, if this demonetization trend continues, this will most likely be DVD content by 2024. It's not a sign word, but it is honest word. In all seriousness though, you will most likely be seeing the biggest creators on DVD start shifting their content in the coming year to be more ad friendly. That means more family friendly games and stuff like that. In addition, speaking for myself and some other creators, YouTube gives us zero information about why they're demonetizing your video. You get a message that your video has been age restricted for violating the community guidelines. So you go through the video, see that every curse word has been bleeped out, there's nothing gameplay wise that isn't in a million different videos that are still monetized, and of course make sure that no evil mores are shown. Then you submit a one-time appeal of your, let's say, 30-minute video with a message attached saying, please YouTube, let me know what the issue is with the video. I've gone through it and I don't see anything that could possibly be violating the community guidelines and I'd like to be able to avoid this in the future so it doesn't happen again. Then boom, five minutes later, you get a message denying the appeal with absolutely no information as to why it was age restricted, which leads to the conclusion that A, no human ever actually looked at the video as it's 30 minutes long and the appeal was denied in five minutes and b a bot is just automatically age restricting videos for some dumb arbitrary reason or because when you get these age restrictions youtube is completely incommunicado about anything that that any content that's getting um age restricted in the video i i can show you emails every time i get an email about an age restriction if they basically say this doesn't necessarily violate any guidelines we don't know what we can't tell you what content is in it that we don't approve of but it's probably inappropriate for younger audiences so we're gonna age restrict it and then when you appeal it they basically come back with zero information again and they say no uh we've decided it's not appropriate for younger audience and you might sit there like well what was it what did i get age restricted for because you're not getting any information about YouTube. So yeah, I'm massively concerned about this. Where does the line get drawn here? How long until all M-rated or mature games are completely demonetized? How many channels even outside of DVD will be completely destroyed by this? Will small channels continue grinding knowing that in a year or two, all of that effort may have been for nothing? I don't know. I really hope YouTube gives us an idea of what the hell they're doing. This started about a month ago for me and I thought it was exclusive to my channel. Channel. Luckily, I've been fortunate enough to have an amazing community over on Twitch that allows me to split my content between two platforms, but now I have found out it is not exclusive to me, and furthermore, it's getting progressively worse. Almost every day now, I'm hearing insane stories from both people I know and even massive channels on the platform that have had over half of their videos demonetized overnight. So, 
like half of my catalog of videos is now demonetized. This happened to a ton of creators and because it's a new policy yet every old video ever made now has to play by those rules, but it's very vague when it comes to the enforcement. Also, I do think that content creation is a bit misunderstood from the outside. Even small videos that you wouldn't think take that long to put together sometimes involve upwards of 10 to 20 or more hours of editing and putting together. So you can imagine how the longer, more complicated videos sometimes take much longer to get finished. It can at times be very tedious and the pay is already very low, way lower than a lot of people realize. So yeah, this seems like a crucial moment for gaming and YouTube as a platform. Content creators are not going to play monetization roulette with their videos. If this trend continues, I could see a massive migration to another platform that treats content creators with respect or the alternative where we all just become Minecraft streamers. This policy is a game changer for a lot of channels. You have to completely alter your content strategy depending on like what you do. Like if you play like a certain game that could now be deemed a little too violent for ads. Like this is something that changes a lot for many creators. And you have to find out by going through fucking Twitter and then talking to people in whispers on Discord in order to figure out what was happening. That is so pathetic. Like it's just so frustrating to have them constantly make these awful choices without ever consulting creators or users of the platform, obviously, but also just not telling them either. This isn't the first time this has happened either. Over the years, YouTube has routinely wiped out entire genres of channels that used to exist. There was once a time where cringe prank videos were the top videos on the platform and then YouTube just washed them away completely. That said, this entire idea that mature video games are too horrible for ads is complete BS by the way. There's no evidence that violent video games cause any harm in the real world. Twitch itself runs a thousand ads a second on every game on the platform. So it just doesn't make any sense to me. Have boomers taken over YouTube or something? You know, over the last couple of weeks, much more so, there's definitely been this ongoing problem with YouTube and it's a shame to see happening and I'm hoping that there is some kind of plan fixed down the line, but that is currently age restriction. Totally wild how this policy could actually ruin a lot of gaming channels. A lot of violent content exists on YouTube from various games would trip up this uh, algorithm unless people shake their editing around. Like, come on now, okay? Let's, let, let, let's allow us to be a little bit on the mature side, okay? YouTube kids exist for a reason. Let regular YouTube be a haven for cooking channels and people who want to look into the seedier sides of the world and come on now, okay? Like, true crime is popular because people like to consume it. I'm sure advertisers are not so against things like this come on now where are you all at on this what are you thinking is this the beginning of the end for mature games on youtube and every channel that's built on that or do you think it will somehow be resolved let me know and as always thanks for watching and have a good one